Hello, ladies and gentlemen, it's Mike here at Game for Scratch, and today is that day. Yes, it's the first Tuesday of the month, and that means it is time for Unreal Christmas in July. If you don't already know, the first Tuesday of every month, Epic Games gives away a number of assets for Unreal Engine, and this month is no exception. We've got five free for the month assets, and then one added to the permanently free collection. The free for the month assets, you get them, you buy them, they are yours forever. When I say buy, you buy zero dollars. Once they've purchased, they are, again, yours forever. What we are looking at right now, this is one of the assets. This is, um, actually, I forget what it's called, uh, but as you can see, it is a collection of kind of low polygon trees and environments. Uh, we've got some water shaders going on here. Uh, definitely a nice looking setup. So this is kind of what you're getting. Pretty straightforward. Is another content pack. The only downside to these kind of assets potentially is you have to mesh the art style. So if you can't create or source artwork with a similar style, uh, it's going to be of limited use to you. But truth of the matter is we've gotten a number of free assets along this style and there are a number of others that you could potentially match. By the way, I really like that rainbow effect. I wonder how that was done. I wonder if that's an asset or not. Can I click it? Let's see. Oh, it's an asset. I like it. So anyways, this is one of the assets and I'm gonna drop out of immersive mode, drop back into Unreal Engine. We're gonna quickly showcase one of the other free assets this month and it is the Easy Texture Creator. This one is probably one of the more interesting ones here. And this one is sort of like Substance Designer Lite. Uh, but it is a tool built inside of Unreal Engine. So you can see here to create uh, that style of material, uh, the pieces that go together. So if you want to create grass, you could procedurally create grass using this setup. Give it a second, load it in, and there you see the end result. So this is broken into uh, a couple of different pieces. Let's do, say, tile roof now. So there's demo maps you can start with. Uh, it's a procedural setup to create... Whoa, where did I go? I lost the map. All right, where, oh, there it is, okay. So you see here, you're creating these tile maps. Now this is configured as, uh, it's a project you create, and then you basically clone your own map. There's documentation on how to work with all this stuff, uh, but the logic of it is mostly built into these two windows, these two editor windows available over here. So we got a preview window for our material over here, and then we got all the things that go together to control it. So we can randomize it and get different results you see over there. So it is a texture creator using a number of different inputs on it. Uh, you have a number of different settings you use to create the projects. And again, if we open up uh, a different one, so let's do a rock wall instead. Here you see the uh, previewed material and over here you see the inputs to create it. So if you wanna create your own, I basically think you start by cloning a new map. Uh, and then again, you have a number of different properties or values that you can control over here. So if you want to have more tiling, you can do so. And as you see, you're getting dynamic updates on the fly. So you obviously use this to create uh, materials. You can save them out, uh, different uh, texture formats, save them out. And coincidentally, if you really wanted to for some strange reason, you could use this tool to create textures for other game engines. It wouldn't be a really great workflow, uh, but that is an option. Okay, so that concludes the hands-on component. Let's go jump in and take a look at what we have in this pack. And I gotta say, I think because of one asset, that someone at Epic Games may be trolling me because there is one certain word that seems to come up way more common than it ever does anywhere in the entire universe. And I think if you're a regular channel, you know what I'm talking about. But anyways, let's take a look at what the assets here. So this is the free, uh, you get these free until the first Tuesday of August. Uh, Dreamscape Nature Meadow Stylized Open World Environment. This is the one that we saw in action to start this video off. Um, high quality, low poly, uh, that word again. Um, trees, forest for the distinctive styled look. Uh, let's see, what else we got going on here? Uh, 4K impostors for all trees, auto landscape materials, highly customized workflow, customizable stylized water, uh, stylized particle effects, so there's 94 meshes, a bunch of trees and flowers, uh, brushes, flowers, rocks and cliffs, and so on. So we saw this one in action. You know exactly what we were dealing with here. Now let's move on to the next one. This is custom shaped volumes, a way to quickly create custom shaped volumes that can trigger behavior or when your player enters the area. So if you need to set up uh, volumes that, uh, you know, hit onto code or whatever, you can set up spline areas. So if you have like danger zones or enemies spawning or whatever, this is a way of basically using uh, simple splines to create uh, these areas. You can also make height Boolean to create 3D volume. So if you've got verticality in it, uh, pretty straightforward on the whole, uh, and there's three examples in there. Post process, so change the look of the scene when you go within the area. 
play a certain audio track within a certain area and a name location so show the name of your location on screen so if you have to have you know basically little areas that trigger code or logic or whatever that is what this is all about you set up splined areas and create custom shape volumes pretty straightforward on the whole next up we have Magic Circle Creator. This one's pretty straightforward. It's for creating your own magic circles, auras, portals, holograms, and more. So if you're creating circular shape particle effects, that one is what this is all about. The entire idea is that you don't really need to know how to program or create particle systems to get working with these. You can see the kind of stuff this is all about creating. So if you're trying to create these uh, magical effect looking kind of setups, that is what Magic Circle Creator is all about. Pretty straightforward on the whole. Uh, and then we've got, of course, Easy Texture Creator. This one we saw in action. It's to procedurally create different textures, styles, realist, uh, stylized or realistic using intuitive stamps and layers. Uh, there's randomization built in there. Again, this one is a tool. It works as a create project kind of setup, by the way. So uh, when you download it, it'll say create project as opposed to add to project. So it's sort of a standalone application on its own. And ultimately you are exporting out the end result. So it's a tool built in Unreal Engine for creating, uh, you know, procedural textures. It's an interesting project for sure. Uh, and probably one of the more interesting things in this package. Uh, next up we have <coughs> this one, the uh, <coughs> plugin, the, uh, oh, um, the foliage. Plugin. Yeah, that's it. The foliage plugin. Uh, again, I think someone at Epic Games may be trolling me. Uh, this one is to uh, convert instanced foliage into actors. Uh, full multiplayer support, support for tiled landscapes, world composition, and level streaming, uh, saving and loading, respawning, removing instances, damage types. So, uh, yeah, pretty straightforward. It's actually implemented as C. Uh, so, if you have a whole lot of Foliage. In your game, uh, this could be a really nice one to you. If you're, by the way, if you're a regular to this channel, you know what I'm talking about. If you are new, well, stick around. You'll understand later. Uh, and then finally, this is the only entry in the uh, Free Forever collection. And for game developers, this one is going to be a little bit yeah. Uh, this is ArchViz Explorer. Uh, ArchViz or Arch Architectural Visualization is kind of a, another use for game engines lately. Is where architects are using this stuff to showcase things in real time. Uh, this one is uh, for showcasing and promoting large-scale projects in an effective way. ArchViz Explorer comes with a powerful blueprints, filtering functionality, a user-friendly fr interface, touch support, and much more. So if you're doing ArchViz work, uh, this one uh, could be nice for you. There's some nice stuff built in for that particular world, uh, such as a 360 panoramic viewer, orbit camera, touch support, and so on. So if you're doing like uh, architectural presentations, this one is for you. If you're doing game development, uh, this one is, is kind of uninteresting, to be honest. So that is this month's free stuff. If you're interested in checking it out, head on over to the uh, marketplace, either in the Epic Games Launcher or uh, online. Uh, go to free, and all of this stuff for the free for the month is available here. Again, this is going to be worth available until the first Tuesday in August. Basically, you'll see here, everything is 100% discounted. Uh, you do need to have an account set up. Uh, I think you actually need to have valid payment set up too, by the way, but you will not be charged, period. And then in terms of the permanently free, just get on over here. You go to the permanently free collection and it's going to be in here somewhere. Uh, they're never in strict order. They're in order they're added to the market, not that they're added to permanently free. So it gets a little confusing. On top of that, we've also got the marketplace collection. This is a selection of free assets that generally refer from previous games. Uh, this all started off with uh, Paragon assets and Infinity Blade assets being added to the marketplace. But we've also got City of Brass, Vagrant, Edith Finch, and so on also being added here as well. Uh, these are free to use as long as you are using them in an Unreal Engine project. Uh, we've also got uh, the, uh, so again, permanently free collection. And then finally, we have the free for the month. And then confusingly, we also have the Epic Games content, and this is stuff specifically made by Epic Games that is only available in uh, for Unreal Engine users, but Unreal Engine users can use it for free. Strangely, this one has an overlap, so you got the Edith Finch stuff over there, and it's also in the uh, Marketplace collection. So I, I don't know why they made that distinction there, but all of the free stuff is available here, and you're talking thousands of assets. And if you're a regular to using Unreal Engine or you're thinking about it in the future, just keep coming in each month. Just grab the permanently free, the free for the month stuff, add it in, store it, digitally hoard it. Maybe eventually you will find a use for it. And that is this month's free stuff. So we got custom volumes, dream escapes, uh, nature, uh, magic circle creator, easy texture creator, and then the foliage plugin. And let me know what you think of this month's collection, the permanently free one. It's a little underwhelming. It's not for us game developers, but uh, 
yeah, Epic Games just keeps on giving. And I'm wondering what you think of this selection. Uh, comments down below. Talk to you all later. Goodbye.